Hey there everybody and welcome back to the homestead. I may look a little bit different with all my hair being gone and all, but I'm Jacob from Sustainably Yours and this here is my little homestead helper. You want to show them what you learned how to do? <laughs> what you got? Whoa, you gonna blow a bubble, high five. Alrighty, so today we're gonna be working on a project. Uh, we are gonna be building some bee boxes. <laughs> Are you excited that yeah. we're getting some bees? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get some honey bees. They should be here, uh, we're thinking some, sometime around a week or so. So I got to get on these boxes. I got to get them finished. We're working in the shed today. My table here is a little dirty, so I, um, I covered it with some plastic because we've got some nice new lumber here, and I just don't want it to look all nasty. Here I've got the, the pre-cut pieces for two deep bee boxes and two medium boxes. So we had never even thought about bees before, I don't know, a couple of months or so ago. And um, so it, this is all new, I'm learning. These are gonna be, I guess, the deep boxes. This is gonna be the, the first box that we put our bees in, I think, if I'm not mistaken. The medium box will stack on top of the deep box once this starts to look like it's the, they're filling it up because we don't want them to fill up the deep box to the point where they think it's crowded. Uh, that will cause the hive to kind of split and uh, we'll, we'll, they'll swarm out and find a new home. We don't want that. And for me, I, I've done a lot of reading. I, um, I've watched some YouTube videos on uh, bees and bee boxes but it's been kind of hard for me to get a mental picture of what everything is going to end up looking like. So I figured in this video I would try and run through what I've processed so far in my head. Just in case some of you are in the same position. You're looking into bees and you're just trying to figure out what's going on. Of course, a box is going to have four walls, right? Um, right now, there, there's not going to be a lid or a bottom. That all comes kind of later. But right now, we're just going to build the four walls. So each box is going to have two of these shorter pieces, like this, and then two longer side pieces. Like that. Like that one. So they're a little longer. Um, this one, like I said, is for a deep box. We'll compare that to, a I believe smaller, it. smaller, like a smaller one. Yeah. The middle side, that one's bigger. That one's the baby size. Well, this one's the medium size. This one's the big one, and this one's the middle one. We don't have a baby one yet. <laughs> so this is going to be the end piece, the short piece of a deep box. This is the same piece on the medium box. And you'll notice that they're the same length. Remember, they're going to stack on top of each other. So they've got, they're going to be the same length, the same dimensions of everything, except for the, I guess maybe you would call it the depth. This one is a, the, the deep box, like it sounds, is a little deeper than the medium box. <laughs> so each of these pieces have these little teeth cut into them. Do you know what those are for? Uh -uh. Watch this. We get this piece, and then we get the side, and watch how they fit together. Watch this. right together like that. Uh, Isn't that cool? It's all pre-cut and try? everything. Can I try? Not right now. And when you're fitting these things together, notice that there's a shorter and a little bit more narrow peg right here at the top. That lets you know that this piece right here is made to go on this groove right there. So you get everything oriented correctly. Now when we start putting all of this together, it's going to be extremely important that everything is flush and straight. We don't have any like anything off at an angle or whatever. So I'm going to have to be pretty precise in building these things and that is not, that's not generally my cup of tea. I'm like, I'm a junk builder. Dad, you don't have a cup of tea. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a junk builder. I just make stuff out of junk if I need to, and it usually looks like junk, but if it works, then hey, hey, this is a little different. And from what I've seen, 
other than the need for precision, everything seems to be fairly straightforward. Um, I'm gonna need, I've got a drill. We're gonna use a small square just to make sure everything is nice and square and level when we're finished or as we build. Um, I'm gonna use a countersink set. What I'm gonna use that for, wherever my screws go in here, I'm gonna countersink it just a little bit so that the screw stays flush with the wood right there. We're gonna be using some inch and five eighths wood screws and some wood glue. Okay, I'm still trying to process my way through how I wanna go about this. I think what I wanna do, first thing, I'm just gonna set everything up. I'm gonna fit everything together and let it sit. Uh, make sure everything, I've got all the pieces that I need. I'm going to mark the holes on the outside where the screws are gonna go in. That way I know where I need to countersink. We'll pull everything apart. We'll countersink the, the, uh, the holes. Okay, can I count the holes? You can count them, and we're also one. going to countersink them. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. So what's that all together? Five and five. Ten. Ten. Very good. All right. So yeah, we'll get these. <laughs> we'll get these holes counted and countersinked, and then we'll put it back together with some glue. Let's countersink. I'll show you in just a second. How's that? So then we'll stick them all together with some glue and get some screws put into them. I think that's the route I want to take. I don't know. What if they eat the glue? Who? The, the bees? bees? Oh, the glue will be all dry by the time we get bees in them. Ready? Yeah. So, I need you to hold this up right here. Holding that up. Yep, you see how there's the handle there? <laughs> the handles always have to go on the outside and at the top. Okay, so hold that right there. We've got this one. Oop, there's the handle, so it's got to go on the outside and at the top. Let's get those fit together. Can I fit them together? You can try. Let me help you. Watch your fingies. Here, watch your fingers. That'll smash them good. Okay, let me in here. Now, oh, you're, yeah. I don't like the way this one. Fit it. Fit it. All right, well, I do have a side here that's being a little bit ornery. I think once we start pulling things in with screws and all, I think we'll be okay. But for right now, um, I'm just going to mark my, my holes here. I guess they're all, yeah, they're all going to need countersink, so. That was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> I'm going to be using a Ryobi countersink set. Um, I'm going to leave the Amazon affiliate link for this product down in the video description. Uh, if you're interested, uh, you can buy through that link and we'll get a little kickback from Amazon. Doesn't cost you any more, but it would certainly be awesome for us. Uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. I think for me, just this uh, little number six there is probably going to be... Just about right. But to make sure, I'm going to run a little test. Let's see what we get out of this. And let's see what we get. That'll do it. That'll do it. Holes are pre-drilled. I think that might be plenty right there. The thing is, I don't want the screw to, to bite in too far because I don't want it to go through the other piece and out the side because that creates a spot for rain to come in and for um, bacteria and fungi to get into the hive. So I want to be careful about that. So, let me see where that puts me here. No, it needs to go a little, little deeper than that, huh? Alright, let's see about that. Yeah, that's 
about what I want right there. Okay. I'm just gonna knock the rest of these out on all of these boards. Ten countersinked holes, ready for some screws. That Ryobi bit did the trick, worked really well. Then again, this is soft pine. I don't know how it would do on harder wood or even metal, but works for this application anyway. And I'm not sure that countersinking these drill holes is a necessary step, but it was something that I wanted to do. I wanted my screws to be flush here. Um, I think that will probably help with uh, help this thing last a little bit longer and will keep me from snagging my hand and things like that. So we went ahead and did it. Oh, Come here, what? Tell me what's going on. Don't hit my camera thing. So um, what's going on? It's making other sounds more than like song sounds and that other button thing. Hold on just a second. Alright, now what's going on? My truck is making other sounds more than song like than song radios and Okay, what sound is it making? It's making <laughs> and then um, Is it not supposed to do that? It's not supposed to do that. Well, what's making it do it? I don't know. I, every time I fall down or something, that does it. it. And what did you say it was like? It was... Da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> but what did you say the truck is acting like? Oh, um, it's like um Twilight Zone, like the one where the dog is, where the dolly it's the same thing that it's not supposed to say. Is that what's going on? You think I should go check it out? Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go make sure that her truck is not haunted. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't know. We couldn't get it to make the laughing sound that she was talking about. So, what do you think? Is she making it up? Or do toys do that sometimes? Can toys be haunted? I don't know. All right, we got that taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together one of these deep boxes. That's what I'm gonna start with. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. When you're putting these together, again, you've got this top lip. This is the lip that the frames are gonna hang on inside of the, the box. This piece right here is supposed to go on that top lip. So that kind of gives you an idea of how it goes together. Handles need to be on the outside and toward the top. That one went on easily. <laughs> Alright, so these pieces are all very compatible. That's going to work. Alright, so what happens if I turn this up on the side this way? And then, let's just move this. I should have my wood glue open and ready to go, huh? There we go. And I want to go a little in between each little tooth. I'm going to put a little bit on the side of each little tooth and just let it kind of run down. Okay. Just a spot. There we go. Uh oh, dang it. Let's not be too messy. here. I think what I want to do, I'm just going to pop in a couple of screws. There we go. 
one there. We'll do one here. Make sure we're not going through. Okay. And that'll give me a little bit of flex at the end before I uh, put everything in tight. Let's turn it this way. Do about the same thing. together. There we go. And right here. There we go. A little bit of glue on the outside will be all right. This thing's going to be painted anyway. This way with it. Same drill. This time, there's not as much give. Before, I was able to just kind of push things around where they needed to go. But now, all this stuff is, is uh, fastened in. So I want to be a little more careful. up some. Actually, I'm going to take this whole top piece off. I bet you that's going to be what I want to do. We're just going to pull this entire top piece and glue both sides at the same time. So get some glue on here. side and now this goes on here right there push it all in Let's see if we're square that's good other side is square so that should mean that we're pretty square here too pretty darn close and okay yeah I think we're good a couple of screws this corner looks pretty darn good this corner Pretty close to. I think we're probably gonna have to come this way a little. I'm getting a little off there. Just a little. But I think by the time I get here. Okay. And in this corner. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty darn close to square all the way around. So now I'm gonna go ahead, put the rest of my screws in, and we'll check this thing as we go. There is a deep box. It's fairly sturdy. I don't think we're too bad off on any of the corners. Or... Okay. Oh yeah, that's... That's a lot better. I was a little worried there for a second, but we're, yeah, definitely within the uh, parameters there. Okay, I'm going to set this over and let the glue be dry in there. And now let's try and put together a medium box. 
Again, it's the same the same length on all of these boards. Just the depth is a, is a little shorter. These have three screw holes in each piece, whereas the deep box had five. And there we have our deep box and our medium box. Um, I need to see how these things are going to stack. That's the important thing. It's important that I have everything darn close to square. And those two things need to be able to stack on top of each other. Something like this. Let's see what we get. Uh oh, it's rocking a little. That's, I don't know if that's going to work or not. So there's a gap there. If I push down one corner, the opposite corner raises up I don't know, a little less than a quarter of an inch. Between an eighth and a quarter. Huh? I don't know. Is that bad? Like, is that make or break? I've got a few people that I can ask. But I also know that there are a lot of you guys here on YouTube that keep bees, especially here in the Shed Wars. So if you can help me out there, I mean, is that a make or break thing? Or is there anything that I can do or need to do to fix it? Or are we okay just to set it out the way it is? Um, if you would, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you're interested in following along as we continue to try and turn our home into a homestead, then be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when to be back for more daily sustainable living.